It's Tuesday, and it's election day here in the States. And Grayson is celebrating by not wearing pants. directions, okay? I do have the rings out, and I have a couple other tricks that I'm going to show you. Alright, let's go explore. It's time to go explore two days, explore two days, explore two days. Time to go explore two days. Stand, wheelbarrow. Hand stand, wheelbarrow, and woo! Yay! Now somebody else's turn, little guy. Yay! Okay, it is 11.15 and I'm gonna go vote. I just tried to go vote with Grayson, but the line was too long and he wasn't having it. He was actually being so good, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. I just, I'm in my mom's car and so I left my car in case she needed to go somewhere with the kids. So she's gonna stay with the kids while I go try to vote and beat the lunch crowd. So hopefully, hopefully I can beat the lunch crowd because that would be great. If you guys know that I tried to early vote, like, and the early voting lines were so long. They were longer than the line was today. So I guess everybody was like, I want to early vote. And then it defeated the purpose of early voting because it was more crowded. Hey, everybody. So I voted. I did my uh, duty as a good American. So I got to I gotta ask this, though. Okay. So I was talking to Kyle about this this morning. So um, I have noticed that... Okay, thanks to like YouTube and and, and etc. I have a lot of friends that are worldwide now, or at least like acquaintances, like people I've met, you know, which is really amazing. So I have noticed, like, on my Facebook and and on YouTube, and that people from all over the world seem to care a whole lot about like the U.S. election. I'm not saying everybody does, obviously. I'm sure you guys have. Most of you guys have better things to do or whatever, but I just, a lot of people do. And so I told Kyle, I was like, is it, one, is it weird that other people care so much about what, who we're voting for? Because I mean, I have people, people in Canada, people in, I had somebody in Germany, several people in Australia, at least one person in Ger uh, Germany, did I already say that? Um, people in England, there's more who have been like, oh, I hope you vote for so-and-so, or, 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 you know, good luck in the election, and I'm like, what? Like, how do you even know what's going on? And then I told Kyle, I was like, so one, is it, like, is it weird that they know so much about our election, or is it weird that I don't know a lot about their elections? Because I'm going to be honest, I just don't know a lot about what's going on politically in other countries. Now, of course I do when there's like crazy things going on or dangerous things going on, you know, things like that, of course, because the news covers that, but I just don't know a lot about, like, I have no clue who's running for what in France, like, I don't know. So anyway, so I told Kyle, I was like, am I a jerk? Because I just don't know these people that are running. And you know, I, I said that and I expected Kyle to be like, you know, oh, well, you know, maybe you should read up a little bit. It's no big deal. But no, Kyle was like, oh, you don't? Well, and he starts reciting to me the, like, political, the current political actions of, like, of France and, and then, like, what's going on in England and what's, and I was like, how the heck do you know all that? So then he made me feel like a big giant jerk because I was like, well, I'm just oblivious. <laughs> I don't know, like... So, I don't know. So, I guess maybe it's just me. Maybe I just, like, I'm involved in my own country and I don't pay enough attention. 
to what's going on elsewhere or maybe it's just that like it's not that people elsewhere care that much but since we're all on YouTube and they hear about us talking about it a lot maybe that's why maybe it's like they're just like oh yeah well like my friend in Germany maybe you know maybe she was just like well I hear like 20 of you guys talking about it so it's I maybe that's why maybe it's just because of that I don't know it's just weird to me I just made me real I guess it it made me aware that I don't know that much about what's going on elsewhere like I said of course the big stuff I do because you you read up about that but I mean just just basic things no clue I don't even know oh it's so weird how many people I have who are like good luck in the election and they're like from across the world and I'm like oh thanks <laughs> all right so anyway, I voted, woo! Um, I always get mad at people who um, don't vote, not in general, because like, like I was talking to my friend, one of my best friends this morning, and she still registered to vote in another state, and it was just like, that's a different story, right? But like, Kyle, who is so political, he's a poli-sci major, Kyle was originally going to go into going to be a lawyer like when we first started dating Kyle had aspirations to be the president of the United States like he's very political right very strong opinionated person he I, I, I don't know he just is like he's very political and so um but he didn't vote in the last election and I give him so much crap about that I'm like you are so opinionated and you think you know everything is the best like you have the best answer and the best solution and you know the best person I was like but you didn't vote I give him so much crap about that those type of people who don't vote I like want to smack in the face mainly because of Kyle like he irritated me so much that now so people who I, I kind of told Kyle I was like if you don't vote shut up like and he tries to give me stuff about oh in Texas it doesn't matter I'm like that's because if you think your vote doesn't matter somewhere it's just because you and you know 5,000 people are saying the same thing no I don't care you vote it's your it's your duty you know if you're gonna gripe 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 then get off the toilet you know it's like that whole like poop or get off the pot thing like <laughs> get off of that and go vote then like then you have a right to be like whoa you know anyway so I was giving Kyle a hard time about that so now I'm like sharing that with you guys so <laughs> I'm gonna go home now that I vented about that and yeah there we go so I guess but you guys won't see this until it's been like a week later so it's weird because you'll watch this and you already know who won but I don't know and who did I vote for I'm not telling I'm not telling who I voted for because I don't want to deal with that kind of stuff the important thing is that I voted so <laughs> all right bye you got to take him up. <laughs> Grayson found Sophie's Cinderella carriage, right? But look how he's playing with it. <laughs> Here you go. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> he's such a boy. <laughs> uh, you boy. So I'm <laughs> trying to clean up, and the kids are playing chase. <laughs> and it's really loud in here because my dishwasher is super loud. It's like a crazy loud dishwasher. It's so annoying. Uh, oh! Here comes another one. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the shape of this house, this like circle thing we got going on is great for children. They love it. I'm trying to clean up, but the kids, the kids were having a, woo! Um, they're having an imaginary party. And so look what Sophie did. She like took out all their dishes. She had dishes over there, and there, and like she made food and there's guests at the party. So it's kind of a mess, but that's okay. Hi! You want your drink? 
Thank you. You're welcome. So anyway, <laughs> it's funny. Wow, we're all dancing right by the super loud. Look at that. I don't know about your family. I don't know about your families, but we have lots of impromptu dance parties. Dance, 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 party, 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 party. Grayson's got good moves. Show me yours. Oh my goodness, they're so loud. So it's already 2.30. Yesterday I went to the gym at 9.30 with the kids. It's the first time Grayson's ever been to the bigger like kid gym area part. It's not like for big kids, but it's for walkers and up. And um, he's never been there. Anyway, I walked in there. I was like, this is his first time. And like I set him down, he was off. I was like, what is up with this kid? He just, it's a good thing. But anyway, it was just funny. And um, it was so nice though because I used to have to make a reservation for him, but now I don't. I can just go whenever we want because he's old enough and it's awesome. So anyway, I wanted to go. To, you want to go back to that gym? Yeah. yeah, she loves it there. So um, so did your brother. He liked it too. Did you ever play with him or did you just play with your friends? Let's play with friends. I'll, I'll try Mama. Mama. So they were in the same area playing. It was really cute. Hey. It's so... Uh, so it, it was just really nice, um, but today we had a little gym. I like to go at a certain time of day, but I don't know, tonight I might end up going without them. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna start filming my day in the lives. It used to be that I would film them and, and edit them and upload them immediately, but it's been really stressful to do that because, and, and we miss stuff. Like, I would have to stop filming by dinner time a lot. Sometimes I'd get the bedtime. Sometimes I'd get that. And I was having to go and work out every night. And it was just really, oh, he bumped his head. Oh, no, he said. Anyway, so I think if I do it on a delay, it gives me more, it's like less pressure. I don't have to edit every night. Oh, honey. And then I can also like, oh, come here, my baby boy. So if that if, if if I decide to do that, it'll be awesome. Cause then at night I can like when we do stuff at night, I can actually film it. Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, who just got me? Who just got mama? Oh, who just got mama? Who is that? Who's gonna get me? Oh no, he got me. Oh no, he got me. Hello, Grayson. Hello, Mr. Jack Jack. Hello, Mrs. Sophie. <laughs> it's Mrs. Sophie. Sophie. Sorry. He's been asleep for a long time. He is in the best mood ever today. He was so much fun. So I am ghetto grilling <laughs> some filet mignon right in there. We're going to have filet mignon and vegetables and we're making pudding. Sophie's been begging me to make pudding for forever. I never ever make pudding. So we're going to make some. I'm going to make some pudding. All right. Careful. Hold it down. Hold it down. There you go. She don't want it to come out in the, of the bowl. Good job, you didn't spill any. Good girl, excellent job. And now, we gotta whisk it. I'm gonna do it. You wanna do it? Okay. Sorry. 
you doing? Awesome. I'm going to hold your hair back because I didn't have a tie. Remember, we always keep our hair back in the kitchen. So ignore my appearance because I'm wearing mascara that, like, doesn't stay where it's supposed to even though it's waterproof. So it makes me look more tired than I actually am. I'm not that tired, which is crazy because I normally am. Uh, ooh, do not flick it out, okay? Let's do it like that. There you go. So Grayson went down for a nap at, like, it was a late, like, he usually takes his nap a lot earlier, but he didn't go down for his nap until, like, I don't know, closer to 4 or something. It is 7.30, and he is still asleep. And every time he does this, he usually sleeps all the way through the night, but I always feel weird. And then he just wakes up, and he's, like, happy, maybe hungry because he didn't have dinner. I don't know. He just does this randomly. I think it's, like, when he grows. <laughs> it's like having a growth spurt. All right, so, like, easiest dinner ever. <laughs> But the filet mignon, I got in the, the, um, no, the meat, whatever department, deli department of H-E-B. And they're, it's like jalapeno filet mignon, so it's kind of good. Vegetables. And Sophie doesn't like red meat, so <laughs> she'll get, um, she'll, after she eats those, she'll get more vegetables. Because she has to eat every vegetable and try it. And then she's getting cheese. She likes shredded cheese. I know it's weird, but she does. And then I'm warming her up some leftover chicken because she doesn't like red meat. Yum, 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 yum. Wait, I'm a bit. I got a white pudding face. What's a muffin? Here, you can use that, honey. Wipe you your hands and go lay it. Go throw it away, okay? Thank you. My, my hands is a little bit because not too much because I don't want them to get all dirty. That's right. Good job. What? What? what that's not the trash can. Ah. Oh yeah. Here we find a Kyle live in the wild in his natural habitat. <laughs> this is a natural position for a Kyle, laying flat, most comfortable position he knows. It's highly preferable. Yes, he's trying to interact. I but recommend it to everyone. Kyles can only do one thing at a time. Their mind cannot concentrate on dual interactions, so. What? <laughs>